Shea Transformer. Allah has been looking for my trouble. No, 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 ma. I was just rocking it with so much grace and stuff, but nah. Hey y'all, welcome welcome back to my channel, Chantel here. If you're just seeing me for the first time, thank you for joining today. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also leave a comment in the comment section, letting me know that you're new here. Give the video a thumbs up, share as well if you enjoy watching and um, what else? Yeah, that's about it, I guess. <laughs> thank you all so much. Oh, your favorite fashion police is here again and today we're going to be fashion roasting hashtag undeniably yours which was the hashtag used for the wedding ceremony of renowned filmmaker and video director Kenny Adetiba and her husband Oscar Herman Aka I wish them all the best this wedding happened a couple of weeks back and I did not react to it because I felt like I was late to the party but trust my subscribers to give me the extra push I needed and letting me know that it's better late than never so here I am doing my fashion roast of the undeniably yours hashtag aka the wedding of Kemi and Oscar. First thing I did was to go on Instagram and search the hashtag. I wasn't surprised to see what I found. Nigerian vendors have taken over with marketing of their goods and services. No problem. We'll still get to what we are looking for. Yo, right. that wedding was lit, lit, lit. I watched Kemi's entrance and I'm like, what's all this? Why so extra? I love it. <laughs> Is it one president's wife that is coming? Is it the president himself? It looked so grand. I love the cultural display. Everything was so grand and extra. I was there for oh, it. Okay. As usual, I'll first start with the bride and the groom. They are the hosts. They are the people of the day. First outfit of the bride and the groom. The bride wore a dual chrome green and pink ashoke dress with mesh and stones and her gile was extra i love that about her i love that she went with that vibe it was giving me nikkei of nikkei art gallery vibes i love how extra it is we're in the days of wedding guests wanting to take over the wedding with their look maybe unknowingly but everybody is trying to bring it hot hot this bride was not about to let anybody steal her show i wanted her gile to be seen from 10 miles away and she she gave it her all i'm here for it i think this is about three years of gile but no wala she carried it with so much grace I love the coral beads. I love her skin. I love her simple sandals. I love the style of the dress. Very extra, but still very modest. I love the fringes. I love her sandals. I think I already mentioned that. Everything about it was just giving money. The husband wore a red um, George wrapper and a matching kaftan. I think that's what they call it. I don't know. He has stones on it. He has a bowler hat on and he wore matching glasses with coral beads as well. He looked good. He looked very dapper. The second one is this Ghanaian African looking outfit. So for those who don't know, the groom is half Ghanaian and half Urubu. So they were bringing the Ghanaian side to the wedding and I love how they both look. They look like royalty. Love her hair. I love the makeup as well. Everything about this look was so stunning. I love that the Ghanaian print. Is it Kente? Yeah, Kente was well beaded. I love the simple dress. Love her choice of sandals. I love the jewelry on her arm. I'm guessing it signifies something but I might be wrong. Her husband wore the wrapper of it they tied it in the Ghanaian way please if you're Ghanaian let me know what this dressing is called and then he had some um beaded tie thingies on his head his shoulder and one of his arms was just giving us throughout that night right these days are just giving us short dresses Rita Dominic did it and now Kemi is doing it yeah I might do it next <laughs> the third outfit if you notice they swapped so um, in the first outfit, the husband was wearing this red that Kemi is wearing as her third outfit. And she wore the same color of Ashoke that he's wearing as his third outfit. So I'm guessing they don't want to clash too much by wearing the same thing. If that they both wore red first, it would be like occult, occult group. <laughs> and I would have roasted them because red and red, what type of anko is that? It should have not gone well. I like how they swapped it. Whoever um advised them or if they were the ones that advised themselves it really went well and I, I love the look his second look is an abada using a showcase coral beads on point walking stick on point he has cap a bejeweled cap on as well glasses kemi on the other hand has the 
thingy on her head. I'm guessing it's giving Calabar or Cross River vibes. I don't know if she has any link to Cross River or Calabar. I love the exaggerated sleeve of the dress. I love her choice of coral beads this time. These coral beads are not cheap. If you're not Nigerian, this is one of our very expensive jewelry. Like, I don't think a lot of people own it because it's very expensive to just buy and keep in your house. People like our grandmothers back in the day got the original one and they've been passing it from generation to generation. So it's really good. It's really high class. It's very expensive. I love the look of her dress. Everything was given wedding vibes and I'm here for so it. So to ratings, the first outfit I will give... For both the bride and groom, I will definitely give a 9. I'm a Cindy teacher. I don't give 10 over 10. So, yeah. For me to give you a 9, that means you did very, very, very good. Excellent. Yes. The second outfit for me, for bride and groom, I will give them 9.5. This is my favorite of them all. The third outfit, on the other hand, I will be giving an 8 because... It was expected. This is what you expect to see from a bride and groom. So yeah, I'll just give them an eight. Not like it was bad. It wasn't bad at all. In general, I love how they both looked. Okay. Now I'm done with the bride and groom. Let's roast the guests. This one's no messy. Eh? Let me adjust my seat. No messy. <laughs> The first person I will be roasting or praising is Jocelyn Dumas. Jocelyn Dumas, I'll definitely praise her because her body alone has already sold the dress. Very simple. She looks fresh. I love her hair choice. I love that they packed it up. I love her makeup. Very simple, subtle, glowy skin. Her dress is well contoured to her body. I love the sleeves. I think it's a mix of Kente and Ashoke from the design I'm seeing here. But yeah, she looks good. With this wedding, they had no lace ashwabi going on, but they had like groomsmen, some women wearing abada and stuff. Most of the guests freestyle. Joycelyn, I think looks good. I would give her an eight out of 10. The next person is Zena Balogun. What is going on? What is the, the, the aim behind this look now because when i saw the picture i'm like why do you have to cover your face why do you have mosquito nets as a covering are you the bride this is exactly what brides use to cover their face then the husband does the honor of um removing the veil and just being excited about his bride right tell me why zainab had to do it and the dress is like it's very versatile versatile in a very funny way you cannot turn it into a jacket so at some point when she covered her face she now brought it up and turned it into a jacket I'm like oh transformer i like i like your for me, I think she'd have just gone with this tube dress, long dress, and the cap. It would have still brought vibe because the cap is different and it's not something we are used to. But with this organza net thing, it's not organza, I think it's net material. I don't like it. It's not, mm -mm, it's not looking nice. She looked happy though. I'm going to be giving it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, that's my rating. The next person is Inidi Maokoje. Inidi Maokoje wore this Ashoke dress and then she topped it off with an extra gele with same fabric and then she tied the gele on her waist as well tied the ashoke rather on her waist her accessories were all pink so pink and orange she's giving us color block i don't think pink and orange goes but yeah she rocked it it's very age appropriate she's looking fresh she's looking good she's looking sexy she looks very comfortable as well the sandals i love the um clasp the bedrilled clasp it looks good i feel like the colors were clashing though but yeah it's 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 not bad i will give her a seven out of ten the third on my list is mary coco mary coco brought it hot she's like if you don't want to see hotness then don't invite me to your event because i'm going to come and steal the show but not steal the show from the bride you get me this dress is just a stunner i love the petals i love that it looks like she's blooming like she's coming out of 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 something yeah <laughs> it looks good i love the color choice i love that it has steel green it has pink it has blue and it has black she's muslim so she covered her hair up she looks very modest and very classy very very classy like when you see this one if you're an usher and you see her you carry her to the front you can't put her at the back now why because you feel like this one is a sponsor of the wedding say madam please come follow me you carry her to the front where she can be seen the bride and groom of 
whoever is having the event. She looked really good, very fresh. I love her makeup and she knew she looked good. So she was looking very confident. She was happy with her look and I'm here for it. The next couple I'll be talking about is Ebuka and his wife, Cynthia. Cynthia is known to always look very simple. She likes her classy look. She doesn't really like going overboard. What I've noticed from her, like seeing her Instagram post and all. So this look is very okay. It's just a regular wedding guest look, a shwebi type of look. There's a directed sleeve, she has um, um, appliques on the bust area. I love her choice of gilly. I don't know if this was tied or it's the auto gilly thing, but whatever it is, it looks good. I love her bag, she looks very okay. Her husband, on the other hand, is always giving us. Ebuka, for me, is the woman in the relationship. He's the one that overdresses and the wife is more simple, which shouldn't be the case. Not that I'm judging though, but yeah, Ebuka, I say Ebuka. Ebuka brought it with this three piece. It has, it's a kaftan and then it has a jacket. He wore coral beads and a red chief cap with the feathers to match. <laughs> and then he has walking stick. Not bad. I will give both of them a seven out of 10. The next wedding guests, is KD Lagos, Kende Lagos. She's the wife of Debola Lagos. That's if you haven't seen her before. She looks really good in this gold dress. Beautiful, 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 very rich. I love the yellow gold against her skin tone. She looks very nice, very fresh, very dapper, very voguish. Like it's very young looking. I love her gilly. I love her jewelry choice. She looks like she loved what she wore and yeah, she exuded same. I love, love, love it. I would give her an 8 out of 10. Alex, aka the body. Alex's body is amazing. Like, this dress fits like a glove. I, I don't even know what else to say. She even mentioned that it was done in less than 24 hours. I said, yes, post. We know the people like us, we have to do our dress two weeks prior so that the tailor can adjust and adjust. But with her type of body, once she just wears it, it fits. She wore this. Um, Ghanaian material, simple corset dress, bustier corset dress. It looks really good. It was sweeping the ground. She looks like a princess. I love her choice of jewelries. I love her hair. Alex is, she's a stunner. Like she's a showstopper. When she enters everywhere, because of her height, her body, everybody would definitely turn and look. She rocked this so well and she looks really comfortable. I love this dress. I would give her an 8.5 out of 10. Or a 9 actually, a 9 out of 10. Very wedding appropriate. I really, really love it. The next person is Stephanie Coca. Stephanie Coca is wearing this navy blue lace dress. And then it has beads around the top area. Yeah, wedding guest appropriate. I love her gilly. Her makeup is looking really good. I love that she went with monochrome. Zooming in, I just noticed that it has mesh on the sleeve. So I thought it was just a regular um, halter neck type of dress. But no, it has mesh. It has um, beads, loads of it actually. It's giving me Benin vibes, but just that it's in blue. If it were to be in red, then I'll know that it's Benin vibes she was giving us, like a Benin princess vibe. I love that a lot of effort was put into this look. She looks really good, very sophisticated. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Yeah. The next person is Sharon Uja. Sharon Uja just wore a very simple blue Ankara dress, bejeweled Ankara dress. I think that the breast cup is pressing her boobs. From where I'm standing, looking at it, I feel like it's too tight, but yeah, beauty is pain. <laughs> so what more can I say? She rocked it with this yellow beaded bag, which is beautiful. I love her gilly. I'm not a fan of her neck drew. I feel like it's more casual for this look. I think that she should have gone with something more elevated, but overall she looks good. She's a beautiful girl and she always comes out looking stunning. I would give this look a seven out of 10. The next person on my list is Tope, Tope Olowonion. Olowonion. I'm sorry if I just spoiled the pronunciation. Yeah, Tope, is it your wedding? What's going on? I watched a video where she had the offer, that Igbo offer. She had coral beads on her neck. She had on her hair. She wore this judge that, that brides wear. What's going on? Are you a wedding guest or the bride? Like, this is the thing I was saying prior to this time, that wedding guests in Nigeria now don't know how to draw the line between being a wedding guest and taking over the spotlight. Like this one, walking in, I'm like, what is going on? It was too much, in my opinion. I felt like she should have toned it down a notch by taking off the head bead, that bead on her head, and maybe just sticking to the 
wrapper or gown i don't know what this is and the coral beads on her neck then that of what she carried what it was it for it was just too much it was just too much in my opinion and uh yeah i'll give her for effort i'll give her a six out of ten because she wanted to steal the show and i don't like that please don't do that again ha <sighs> You guys, I'm sure you already can guess who I want to talk about now. There's no way to salvage this. Like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, where do I start from? <laughs> at this one, Wellington. <sighs> this net fabric that is now raining everywhere, they use it to sew kimono for her. And then underneath, she has like a trouser and bustier top. Uh, <sighs> see. <laughs> her hair you know the type of thing where people will be like oh i'm a beautiful girl i can rock anything and i will still look beautiful i feel like that's the confidence that this one has i beg i can go with my cornrows wear anything i will still shine through then you now end up being a joke that's just how i would i would describe this what's going on what's this with her joker jelly sandals i'm sure somebody will go to the comments now and say hey you have to love yourself for who you are she has to do a she can be herself come out with her natural hair no you cannot for a wedding like that you have to bring it even if you're coming out with your natural hair arrange it very well what is cornrows these cornrows that we wear on that week huh no please and that's why and that's why it brings it to Bet, way better than this so i'm surprised that she opted for this in this in this wedding Houseman, on the other hand, was looking good. I love the the maroon kaftan and the Ghanaian vibe that he added, the tailor added to the front area. I love the cap. He looked really good. Maybe she was trying to match with her husband and then she now came out looking like this is such a flop. I don't like it. I'm going to rate Adesua 3 out of 10 and I will rate her husband Banky 7 out of 10 not my cup of tea the next person on my list is Toke Makinwa she's wearing this blue powder blue ashoke dress with bedrilled one bedrilled sleeve and an exaggerated sleeve with so much going on on it i don't even know how to explain it again but yeah zooming in now i see that it has a corset it has like ruched um waist area tummy area guys Oh my goodness, did they retouch this picture? Wait, let me even put it on the screen. Let me bring it close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, retouching gone wrong, you guys. See this area? Can you see it? Can you see how her hand looks? Like they tried to cinch in her waist and then the hand now looks bigger than it, it is. I'm really hoping you all can see this thing because it doesn't look good at all. I don't know who edited this picture. Oh my goodness. Hey, wahala. I was just trying to zoom in and look at the dress very well. Okay, yeah, but photography is not what I'm roasting. I'm roasting the dress. So, yeah, back to the dress. It looks good. She wore a matching gele. Um, over the top beautiful but the breast cup is small why does it look like she plastered her breast and it's looking like they are pancakes they are no longer round they are now flat and and large i don't like that about the dress i will give this tucker's look for effort i'll just give it a seven out of ten but the fit for me not the best next is shafi bello shafi bello wore this pewter color robe it's not a dress it's actually a robe with feathers and petals and mesh and that big headband that everybody has i know that me self i'm guilty but my own is not that type <laughs> with big earrings it's just a lot going on these feathers are too much it's even giving me a headache just looking at it her makeup is cute though very beautiful i love her makeup she wore contact i don't really bad do this her look i really don't like it it looks like a wedding robe you know what brides wear to take pictures before the actual ceremony that's what this looks like then she now topped it with this fan that i don't know where the color is coming from maybe she's matching with her lipstick but she didn't even know that she was going to use this color of lipstick before she got the fan. I don't know. This is just me dissecting the whole thing. I really don't like this dress. It's it's giving me robe vibes, wedding robe vibes. It shouldn't be worn to a wedding. I'm sure it's very expensive, but it's a no-no. No, 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 no. No, 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 ma. For me, I'll give this a 4 out of 10. Yes. The next couple on my list is Tony Abraham and her husband. They are matching in this white and yellow ensemble. She has yellow gold gilly 
and uh, that thing they put on the shoulder. Husband is rocking same white and yellow with a beige cap. They look good. They look really good. Very wedding appropriate with your husband. She looks really good. And um, yeah, I'm here for read. I will rate them 8 out of 10. <laughs> the next people, they are not a couple, but they took this picture together. So the first person is Zoro. Zoro, what is going on? He showed a picture of where he got his inspiration from. I'm going to leave it here. I'm trying so hard to, but it's not coming. The length of the pan alone is a problem for me. Then he now topped it up with gray socks. And red cap and purple person standing next to him is actually his friend Latasha Lagos whom I love I don't like her outfit a lot of colors are clashing here the jewelry but if you know Latasha you know that she's extra when it comes to her OOTDs but this one it's not giving me anything overall not not working not working at all i'm going to rate both of them together i will rate them a three out of ten yeah the next on my list is smart money arese arese looks so beautiful in this velvet sequin combo dress beautiful i love how he accentuated her petite frame and if you look at her you know that she's very busty but the tailor did such a good job by highlighting that but not making it too sexy it looks very well put together even though she's showing a bit of cleavage but it's not over the top it's not something you look at and you're like why did this girl with such big boobs rock something like this right she looks really good i love her belly there sandals i love her hair choice i love her jewelry choice very very beautiful i love 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 it i would give arese an 8.5 out of 10 for this look. The next person is a guy, Efa Iwara. Efa Iwara looks like the regular wedding guest. This is a trending style for guys these days and he looks like he loves what he's wearing and uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. I would give his look a 6 out of 10. The next on my list is Eni Olua. Eni always brings it. He's fresh on the block. He's, he's having his moment and I'm here for it. Eni is wearing this white abada paired with burgundy shoes, burgundy cap, um, coral beads, a walking stick. He looks really good. But the only thing I don't understand about this look is the bag. Why is he carrying this bag? But it's Eni. Eni likes to bring it hot, hot. I feel like I'm here for his look. I will give it an 8 out of 10. Chef Frags is next on my list. He's looking like an Urubu prince. He looks well put together. He's showcasing his culture very well. He wore the wrapper and the shirts with a bola hat. Lala, on the other hand, Lala has been looking for my trouble. Now nah, she's wearing this coat of many colors dress that I don't understand. Lala, stop now. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really love her, so I don't know why she doesn't really bring it. It's giving me. If I say what is in my <laughs> my mind, <laughs> you know that this thing. Oh, go, go, be careful. Now, go, go, see, they go. Oh, good. That does mask with that thing. Oh, go, and go, go, be careful. Now, express. <laughs> Lala, I love you, but yeah, I'm just burying it all. She, 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 I, she's rocking it. She's in love with what she was. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember that song. Hey, go, go, be careful. My press you, they go. Who mm -mm 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 -mm. rate her husband 7 out of 10 for this look? And Lala, I will give a 4 out of 10 because I really don't like what she's wearing. The last person on my list is Temi San. Gives me vibes. I love the way he talks. I love his tea, tea, tea something with Temi San. Temi San wore a burgundy abada and it's giving me vibes on vibes on vibes. I will give Temi San's total look an 8 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you have it with everyone I have roasted or praised today who was my best dressed overall i would say after the bride and groom that is because for me they're always the best dressed can't argue with yourself um female i will give it to mary coco i love her look even though i don't think it's traditional wedding appropriate but 
is still in tune with traditional wedding because she's Muslim. You know, they, they just rock simplicity so well and make it look good. I love, love, love her look. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. I really love it. So for me, she was my best dress out of those I just mentioned, right? My best dressed meal obviously temisa i love his whole look he looks really good very fresh and more handsome um, my worst dressed female i would give it to hmm. two people are fighting for this position no? <laughs> i'm going to give it to adeshua because no effort from the hair to the outfit to the shoes everything was just bland worst dressed male for me is Zoro, yeah, Zoro, please. I don't understand that inspiration, it doesn't work, it's not giving anything. I'm sure in his head, it's giving fashion and more, but just rocking it with so much grace and stuff. But nah, not working for me. That's got to be my worst dressed meal, yeah. That's it. Let me know your best dressed female, your best dressed meal, your worst dressed female, your worst dressed meal. And rate all the celebrities I mentioned as well in the comment section. Let's take it up from there. You don't have to agree with me because we all have different opinions and that is fine. That is very, very, very okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for 15,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. At this point, just tell me who I am because I really don't know anymore. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in in my next one don't forget to subscribe all right baby can be rock baby please come and sit with me or take a walk with me i need to speak to you just want to be with you just let me take you for a ride is there a chance that we could make another try i think we meant to be